Growing climbing plants is a brilliant and beautiful way of bringing life to your dead vertical surfaces and can benefit the garden wildlife. Select your spot and identify what conditions you're working with. As with all gardening, choose the right plant for the right location. If you have a support like a trellis, choose something like a wisteria or a climbing rose that can be tied to the framework. Wisteria is like sunny positions and climbing roses like sun or partial shade and are best suited to house walls. A self-clinging climber like Boston Ivy is suited to north and east facing walls. Beware of ivy and the damage its aerial roots can do to brickwork should you ever need to remove them. For your garden fence we recommend common jasmine or a passion flower. For a pergola, clematis climbers tend to be excellent for pollinators. Honeysuckles are also a great option because of their beautiful flowers that offer nectar to long-tongued moths plus berries for the birds. If you're planting in a pot, it will need lots of water. Use as large a pot as you can. Your plant will be happier and need less watering. Make sure there is good drainage. Put some broken bits of pot in the bottom and use a good peat-free compost. Some climbers will need pruning. Wisteria, for example, needs two prunes a year. It will take a little while for your climber to become large enough to be good for wildlife. The first thing you'll probably notice is when your climber starts to flower and begins to attract bees. In the longer term, as your climber thickens up, it will provide a place for birds to roost and nest.